Trump area uses Facebook to manage with charity for the week of August 19th. So the end of Leo, beginning of Virgo. Ooh, shit. Ooh, my death. Hey, wait. Hey, Tabby Tattoo today. You should all be very grateful to him if you're watching this because he's my familiar, and without him, I probably wouldn't be shit romantic. Switch camera. Alright, Aries, since my love cards are still out, let's use listening to love reading. Can we get a reading for the Aries? Oh, yeah, they can. Feeling heart and the snake. So. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. And healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. So, I think you were once very hurt by a piece of shit, and that now you are trying to heal from that. She came out, she was overtaken. And the fuck is that my card? Windex. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Now, how do we get from one side to the other? How do I help the areas people understand how do I get from... Betrayal and heartbreak from some dickhole fucking narcissist into a healing spiritual connection with someone who can make them not hurt anymore. This is a weird reading. Okay. So, act passionately. Like, don't hold back. Even if that's, like, anger, just don't get yourself arrested. Or do anything that you regret morally. Um, stop making up fake value for this person because they don't, they're not worth shit. You should be seeing that. You shouldn't be seeing them as better than they are. So they're not very good to you, it seems like. And don't avoid conflict. Don't, don't run away from the fact that this is not right. Like, you can't just keep letting it happen forever. Can we clarify, please? Yeah, there's a line here that you're going to act passionately about. Creating false um, value in a partnership. Don't run away from conflict when the truth is revealed. Or just lie. When the, truth, the light of it comes out, when you find out what's really going on, don't hide from it. Confront it, otherwise you won't be able to heal. Anything else? So, this thing is going to ignite passionate action from you. This lie. Um, it's going to be something that's new. I want to say old, but it's old if it's normal. One more card, please. So you're gonna it's gonna be involved in someone you thought was your soulmate. And this false value you're assigning to somebody, you don't really feel that way anyway. You're trying to make partnership something that's not. You know that. And don't run away from the truth. Or you keep yourself stuck in a fucking knot. You keep yourself stuck in the cycle of misery. You have to see your value above all. And once you own your position, everything else will come into the 
you know, in the play. Once you know your value, engage your, you know, your true worth, always see your faults. You should always try to gauge your faults because that way you can correct them and be a better person, bring better, like, energy into your life. But it, don't subjugate your goodness or your truth and honesty, like, good shit, just because somebody else is making you think you're not worth it or making you think that they're better than you. Frustrated in relationships, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Okay. Yeah. Follow the moral path, and I think it'll be okay for you. Follow the moral path, but don't back down. Normally, if I said act with passion, but don't get arrested, I wouldn't say don't get arrested. So I think that that. Hierophant card was trying to tell you to make sure you take the moral high ground for your own safety and for, you know, the betterment of your ev evolution spiritually. You don't want to just keep going back where you're safe still. You want to go forward. All right, so pick a pick a yes or no question in your mind. We're gonna pull a card, yes or no, for it. No, the answer is no. You're going to work hard and be emotionally honest, but you're still going to be left out in the cold. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again.